Prince Harry and Meghan Markle visited a controversial marketing company owner's luxury ranch multiple times this year, and even brought Meghan's mother along. The firm, Guthy Ranker, has been fined over illegal business practices in California, was sued for $26 million by thousands of women who claim its shampoo made their hair fall out, had commercials banned in the UK for misleading consumers, and launched the career of self-help guru Tony Robbins was accused last month of spreading COVID misinformation. Last week, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex flew on a private jet owned by the firm, Guthy Ranker, after their VIP tour of New York City. The news sparked speculation that Meghan could be planning to launch her own cosmetics line, following in the footsteps of the world's richest supermodel Cindy Crawford who has made hundreds of millions of dollars from her Guthy Ranker hair products. Though the Sussexes and the company stayed silent about any budding business relationship, new photographs obtained by Daily Mail reveal Harry and Meghan have been friendly with the firm's co-founder Bill Guthy for months, and may have even used his Santa Barbara estate for their bombshell Oprah Winfrey interview. The former royals were spotted driving in and out of the Guthy Ranch in Carpinteria several times between February and March this year. A series of pictures from March 1 shows Harry leaving the estate in a black Range Rover with Meghan in the passenger seat and her mother Doria Ragland in the back. Their interview with Oprah was also reportedly filmed just days earlier, before the Sussexes were stripped of their royal titles on February 19. Satellite images of the Guthy estate show an apparent stone courtyard similar to the leafy, outdoor location for the interview. Their visits to the property around the time raised the prospect that the CBS TV special that rocked the royal family may have been filmed courtesy of the marketing company boss. In fact, part of Guthy's ranch was formerly available for rent as a luxury getaway under the name Paradise Retreats. Billed as world-class vacation rentals, the listing for a three-bed, 4.5-bath property on the estate boasts a private drive, avocado orchards, panoramic views of Santa Barbara and Ventura, a media room, pool, and yurt. Archive versions of the rental property online listing show it was live as recently as September 2020, but have since been removed from the Paradise Retreat site. Bill Guthy, 66, is reportedly worth more than $500 million, and owns estates in Carpinteria, Beverly Hills and a home in the Tony neighborhood of Brentwood, Los Angeles according to property records. Their Beverly Hills property, built for former owners Emily Blunt and John Krasinski and later sold to Kendall Jenner, was listed in June for $8.5 million. But in recent years Guthy Ranker has been fined over illegal business practices in California. It was placed under federal investigation and sued for $26 million by thousands of customers who claimed its shampoo led to hair loss, and had commercials for its acne treatment line, Proactive, banned in the UK over its misleading ads. Exclusive photos of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex disembarking from Guthy Ranker's Dassault Falcon jet in their hometown of Santa Barbara in September after a three-day VIP tour of New York City sparking speculation that Meghan could be planning her own product lines with the controversial company. A move by Meghan into the world of beauty products and infomercials would be highly unorthodox for a royal family member. In an interview in Forbes in August this year, Gothi Ranker co-founder Greg Ranker even admitted that Crawford took a risk when she partnered with them in the early 2000s and that venturing into direct-to-consumer marketing at the time was not exactly aspirational. But the business proved to be extremely lucrative, as Forbes estimates Crawford is now worth $225 million largely thanks to her Guthy Ranker creams. According to Euromonitor, the global skincare market earned $140 billion in retail sales in 2019 and is expected to reach $181 billion by 2025. However, Harry and Meghan's public relations team at Sunshine Sachs may have a headache over their possible links to the infomercial giant given its checkered recent past. Prosecutors from four California counties accused Guthy Ranker in 2019 of charging its customers for repeated shipments of products without their consent. The firm was forced to pay $1.2 million in penalties and up to $7.3 million in restitution to customers who got automatically renewed charges without their consent according to the city of Santa Monica. Guthy Ranker also paid nearly $8 million to settle a lawsuit by customers of their proactive acne medicine and wet hair products who were recharged without their consent. When previously paid out $26.3 million to settle a class action lawsuit of 2,000 women in 2016 after receiving 21,000 complaints about its hair products, horrified customers discovered bald patches and skin irritation after using their conditioner, endorsed by celebrity stylist Chaz Dean whose A-list clients have included Brooke Shields, Alyssa Milano, and Christina Applegate. The complaints had also sparked a Food and Drug Administration investigation two years earlier.
the FDA issued a safety alert for the brand while it carried out its investigation, and recommended that consumers stop using the product and consult with their dermatologist or other health care provider if they experience a reaction after use. At the time of the class action settlement, Wen said, We continue to provide our hundreds of thousands of customers with the Wen by Chasdeen products that they know and love. Since the process of litigation is time-consuming and costly, we made a business decision to pursue a settlement and put this behind us so that we can focus on delivering quality products. The following year Wen also released research from a 2016 clinical study which found no toxicological hazard or adverse reaction in a lab test on over 100 subjects. One of Guthy Ranker's commercials was banned in the United Kingdom after using celebrities including Katy Perry and Justin Bieber to make misleading claims about their acne products. The UK Advertising Standards Agency investigated complaints that the British version of the acne cream did not have the same active ingredients as its US counterpart, and ruled that the commercials were misleading viewers by suggesting the celebrities on camera were continuing to use the products, when in fact they only used them for a few weeks. 